Hi, this is Christopher Wong, and I'm a senior applications engineer with Avago Technologies here in San Jose, California. Today, we're going to take a look at a demonstration of PCIe Gen 3 over parallel fiber optics. Uh, so, as we know, PCIe Gen 2 had copper cables defined at 5 gigabits per second, uh, but they could only go a few meters. Uh, plus, you know, with, with copper cables, they're heavy and bulky uh, and difficult to install. Uh, with PCIe Gen 3, um, copper cables are running out of steam, and so there's a need for a fiber optic so solution. With fiber optics, we could provide uh, increased link distances, uh, lower size and weight for easier placement and routing, and higher performance. So here we have the PCIe chassis acting as a server with a PCIe card with the PLX PCIe Gen 3 switch and the Avago Technologies Minipod. Now the Minipod is a 12 channel embedded parallel optical transmitter and receiver module capable of operating up to 10.3 gigabits per second. Uh, right now we're running PCIe Gen 3 at 8 gigabits per second using 8 lanes. This mini pod incorporates the Vago Technologies 850 nanometer Vixel Array and Pin Array and integrated laser driver and receiver IC technology. It's connected up to um, an identical board on the expansion side of things. So right near here we have a five bay expansion chassis. Using the PLX PCIe Express Gen 3 switch, we're able to connect up a USB 3 card, an SSD card, two of them actually, a RAID card, and also we have a card which does Ethernet. So the actual optics with the uh, mini pod is transparent. So you could do PCIe Gen 3 at gig 8 gigabits per second, but you're also able to do PCIe Gen 2 rates at 5 gigabits per second, and PCIe Gen 1 rates at, at 2.5 gigabits per second. Uh, the PLX PCIe 8748 chip is 48 lane Gen 3 switch, uh, and it's used as a PCIe fabric with multiple Gen 3 slots for the uh, expansion card. So right now we're taking a look at all the drives that were populated in the expansion bay. This is the local disk of the PC locally. This is an SSD drive which could be up to 150 meters away and in fact we've populated two of them. This removable disk is a USB Gen 3 uh, pen drive. And this one, which is identified as local disk E, is actually a ray drive. And so you're actually able to go and load you know, movie files or any sort of data files and run them, even though that this physical file is over 150 meters away. And as you can see, uh, this is just a movie trailer. Uh, and the configuration with the uh, graphics card on the far end is just an extended desktop. So again, this is the Avago Technologies Minipod, a by 12 embedded optic using a mega ray connector. Um, since it is an embedded optic, the designer could leverage that for superior signal integrity, superior EMI by placing it inside the box, and also optimize the thermals. In addition, there's also a different type of daughter card which is created. This is called the AFBR 75 series, and again, it's essentially just a two-channel version of an embedded optical device. So this demonstrates the ubiquity of PCIe Gen 3 in that anything that you want to run in terms of PCIe can now be run remotely.